in a never-ending quest to make this micro light as possible and to complete the look. Now I have to make those rear arch extensions. That's a good one! The original plan was to make the entire rear quarter of carbon. But now we rethought about it a little bit, so it's going to be in two parts. So immediate one that is necessary now, those the arch extensions. And then in later stage, when Eden does a little bit more work on the metal side of things with regards to the boot and lightening it, then he will be able to cut it out. Because right now there's just not enough time to make it as a one piece. And two piece is okay. So extremely simple. I'm not even going to go into sort of detail. You guys seen it all. I'm ready to be molded from PVA. 15 minutes, two layers, peel, cut, done. So let's go into montage. sure you've seen it all before simple two layers dial in 12k carbon 15 hours let it dry trim boom repeat the next day I have to admit there is one big flaw with one of them it's a bit of a bubble but nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know nobody's, nobody's gonna, know. gonna know nobody will know um, I mean theoretically obviously if this was a show car you were really cared about the looks you would just remake it it's fairly simple you've seen it on the um, on the time lapse um, it's just two layers but we don't really have material here to remake it and it's not really visible I mean a couple of stickers on top you know um, it should be absolutely fine so now I need to demold it trim it and then we'll measure measure it up onto the car and see how it looks I honestly cannot wait to see the complete thing together time to actually yeah now we're done with all the parts we can actually total the silence so the rear arches the original ones from grp or whatever they are from yeah. they are 1.1 kilogram each um let's weigh the final carbon fibre fibre on fibre do i even need to ask you guys comments get or you're not bothered anymore i mean it's light we know it's light so <laughs> that right oh, no. <laughs> 300 grams So that's a, a whopping 800 grams per arch saved, so 1.6 kilograms. So I reckon, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon it's uh, time to do to 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 calculate. So 2.7 times two. Plus 9.2 plus 8.9. Plus 2.2 25 25.7 kilograms of original parts Two wings, two front wings, the bonnet, the roof and two rear arches So that's what it would have been if it was kept as it was And now we are putting... Oh, I messed up 600? No, no I messed up That's a big breakfast yeah, I've done the same thing last time. <laughs> and the new parts come to 6.28 kilograms. So we've saved 19.42. So let's say 19 and a half kilograms. Are you happy? That's true for that. That's true for that. Almost 20 kilograms. Stage, stage one at least. 
Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's more to be had, definitely more to be had. Plus, he modified the rear arch just a little bit so there was a bit more metal sort of uh, came out from that. But I mean, 20 kilograms from just carbon parts. A lot of people tell me, it's like, oh, you can get a lot more from metal. I'm like, well, yeah, you do the metal and this. You can't just do one or another. But that's not too bad. But that'd, be, that'd be at least another two, two and a half, three kilos once I trimmed out the rear bump and the crash bar. So yeah. that'd yeah. be 22 yeah. kilos. Yep. So it's a fantastic result, if you ask me. And it's gonna pull in all the ladies. Imagine that. If you rock up in that next to us, the car park or Aldi or Lidl or whatever, they'll be like fucking flies to shit. Like, you know, well, I'm telling you, carbon this just does it for you. Well, probably you'll, you'll end up with men sort of surfing you around. Be like, oh, is that car covering my car? My car? Or whatever accent I was trying to do there. Anyways, let's get on with the job. Several bad puns late. So our original plan was to mount these fiberglass arches that we had done from our moulds. Um, and then when Rusky was here, um, he couldn't resist uh, not having the rear arches match the front. So he's made us some rear uh, copies of the rear arch. Now weight wise, they were 1.1 kilograms and these were 300 and I think 360 grams. No, they were 300 grams, um, and we've actually still got to trim them, so they're going to be stupidly light. Uh, the benefit of doing that as well is, if you remember, we were having to cut out these arches. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to have to cut out this big lip here, and obviously now on this copy carbon one, that lip doesn't exist. So we've now got maximum ground clearance, which is uh, pretty good. Trim the carbon down, so if you see this lip here, we're going to follow that lip all the way around and give us a nice like inch and a half band to sink a couple of rivets in there. Yeah, um, I don't want to bore you to death by talking step by step. Um, I'm hopefully going to cover enough in this next lot of video footage for you to understand what I'm aiming for. So uh, yeah, have fun. So some uh, pretty sick progress. We've got the driver's side arch or riveted on. Uh, we've used some rib nuts and we've used some um, black tinted stainless bolts. Obviously that's important. Make sure they're black plated stainless rather than um, just normal black because they will rust. These won't rust. So yeah, really, really happy with how this has come out now. Eventually. Now I've done it this way because I've not seen this in the flesh yet, so we're going to see it together, together, together. <laughs> Mate, that has transformed the look of the fucking car just by lowering it two inches. Are you for real? Look at it. Just fucking look at it. Car, oh car. my gosh, the just car, look at the it. Car is not oh, mate. Mate. 
<laughs> that was fucking sick. Ah, oh, for fucking hell. That's how low it should have been when we first built it. In fact, it was that low when we first built it. Uh, but we had loads of clearance issues almost immediately on the first test day, so we had to raise it that two and a half, two inches um, to get all the uh, clearance against the bodywork. And of course, all that bodywork clearance isn't an issue anymore, so... Mate, that's fucking sick. Dead happy with that. Dead chuffed. Um, so yeah, um, we'll have a quick walk around the car. Um, and then we'll end this video. Um, so yeah, I've, as I've just said, you know, I'm absolutely over the moon with how this looks now. Um, hopefully it's going to handle the form a lot better now with all this extra ground clearance. And hopefully the drop in the suspension is going to help it handle and remove that weird bouncing oscillation that we've got. Um, the bonnet vents, again, massive improvement over last year's bonnet vent. Uh, actually should work a load better as well. Obviously we've got a little gurney flap here to the disturb the airflow to help draw hot air out. Um, I've actually just realised we've, we've, uh, we've done this whole video and I've not actually mentioned the carbon fibre roof. So uh, yes, we, uh, we've got a carbon fibre roof as well. Um, yeah, it's carbon. That isn't, you know, we, we've, we've not just skinned over the steel and kept the steel. What's the fucking point in that? We're just adding weight, not removing weight. Um, but yeah, I just... I, Ilya was right, you know, if you stand this far back now, the carbon looks really good. I mean, it looks, it looks really good when you're up close, but I just know there's going to be a load of dickheads that are, you know... Oh, well, it's, it's not a show spec, it's not smooth, it's, it's too dry. It's not dry, you dickhead. It's just you don't understand the method that we've used um, to make all these parts. Put the rear carbon arch in the sun. Um, and it glistens is really good um, and, that, and that little issue where the you know it's coming off you know you don't really notice it from this far back so I don't think I'm gonna bother really sort of doing anything to rectify that um, I think it looks all right really chuffed that's come out um, so uh, a big 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 massive thank you to Ilya from uh, Rusky Weld Fab um, massive thank you to Ilya from a uh, Rusky Weld Fab. Um, one of the best things that I've had from being as part of Time Attack is the friendship. Um, you know, the contacts you get, everyone's willing to help everyone. Um, case in point of Ilya, you know, um, I sort of jive, I was joking, I think she makes some carbon bits of the micro, and he jump, jumped at the chance. Um, I couldn't say no, and before you know it, he's in my workshop for a week making all these masterpieces to make the micro lighter. Um, it works both ways, you know. We're obviously helping Ilya on a project, which I'm actually pretty excited uh, to help him with, because um, hopefully we can then sort of backtrace that and do do what we're doing with his car to my car next year, uh, which will look pretty fucking sick. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what we're doing. Um, at the end of the day, it's Ilya's content and Ilya's project. Uh, we're just helping. Um, but yeah, Ilya, I know you're watching, mate. Um, really appreciate what you've done for me uh, this last week. Um, I'm going to apologise to the million and one PMs that you're going to get um, asking about how much it's going to cost to do it today at Micra so uh, I'm really sorry about that uh, and if you're that guy I'm about to message Ilya make sure you got your spends ready because what we've done here isn't cheap and Ilya has done me a massive 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 favour um, doing this um, so prepare to get your pennies out carbon fibre isn't cheap but yeah other than that I'm going to end this video here